everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be watching episode three of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And ah, I loved, I loved, like, I loved the first episode, but I really, really enjoyed the second episode. And I'm going to assume we're just on a, we're just going to keep getting better and better and better. So the last episode, we um, started kind of a grand journey. It seems like uh, Edward and Al are about to enter this city and I think they're hoping to get closer to like unlocking how they can give Al's body back but I don't really know if that's even possible. Also just so you're aware over on Patreon I am actually offering timer reactions for tier three as well as my usual cut down early access reactions for tier two so if you did want to go over there I would super appreciate it and yeah. Those who have lost their way the sun god Leto shall shine. So what are you guys like street performers or something? Nice. There, see? How's that? Amazing. It's a miracle. You've been touched by the sun god, just like Father Cornello. Yeah, touched by who now? The sun god? It's alchemy. Oh, so you two are alchemists. Right, I've heard of them. Then maybe you've heard of us. We're the Elric brothers. The Elric brothers, you say? Right, <laughs> the Elric the brothers. The full metal alchemist, Edward Elric, is that right? Wow. <laughs> he loves it. He's lapping this up. Oh. eternal life to the souls of the faithful he can even resurrect the dead his miracles are proof that what he says is true well that's obviously bullshit claiming he can bring the dead back to life now that's something i gotta see that's such bs oh merciful god please hear me hear my prayer i beg of you please bring him back yeah. so this is the almighty leto welcome are you interested in letoism nope can't say i am <laughs> Nope. Telling me something modern science can't do, you can do with prayer. Lift thy voice to God, and the prayers of the faithful shall be answered. Did I mention all those ingredients I read off? <laughs> the market, a kid could buy every one of them for the spare change. This feels like a phony religion. You know, there's an old myth about a hero who flew on wings made of wax. He thought he could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings... Icarus? ...crashing back down to Earth. Right, Al? Am I right? I'm sorry, miss. This is difficult for me to ask. But do you think your father, Cornello, could even save an arrogant scientist like me? Of course, that's wonderful. If anyone can lead you to the creator's light, he can. That's nuts. Oh my gosh. Father Cornello is a busy man, as you can imagine. But you're in luck. He's decided to spare a moment for you. Yeah, thanks. We understand. We won't take too much of his time. Good, then it's agreed. We'll make this quick. <gasps> eh! Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're doing? Rose, these heathens have come to ensnare. What's he gonna do? Shoot the metal? Have you come to learn the ways of Leto? Well, there are a few things I'm curious about. Like how you've been using second-rate alchemy to deceive your followers. <gasps> My dear boy, I don't know what you mean. What you're doubting, I- So second-rate is when you- It's when you don't equally exchange what you're doing mutations that ignore the law of equivalent exchange as i said because it isn't alchemy but then i started thinking about it if you'd somehow managed to acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy one that's said to make the impossible possible that would explain he's got a philosopher's stone i'm talking about the philosopher's stone your ring there we go rose dear yes father oh that gun there beside you pick it up oh my god okay Girl, you can't be serious. The full <gasps> oh my! No, my... Mother, I can't do that. I am the sun god's chosen emissary. My word is the word of Leto himself. Shoot him, Rose. It's God's will. Oh my God! What a nasty man! Why hesitate? When you lost your fiance to that tragic accident last year, who was it that saved you from the very depths of despair? Shoot. Then why hasn't he? <gasps> Ow. You 
you still doubt it, Rose? This unholy thing is an abomination. Evil of this kind must be- What is the lever for? Oh my god. And I believe my chimera should be up to the test. A chimera as well? But I guess those claws don't do so good against steel. Fight him, you stupid beast! Oh. You like that kitty? Go on, get a good taste! Oh no, the poor baby. I mean, I know it wants to kill him, but it's not his fault he's that way. Armor. I see. It's all becoming clear now. You did it, didn't you? <gasps> the one thing even the most novice alchemist knows is strictly forbidden. Why don't you come down here and try me? I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Oh! Old metal alchemist. <laughs> smug bastard. Oh, poor Rose. Father. We just want you to hand over the stone before you get hurt. Don't be absurd. Al is so soft. He's so soft. Thank God. Then perhaps I should send you to beat <gasps> him instead. Oh, hell no. Nah, me and God, we don't get along too well. Even if I went, he'd probably just send me right back here. <laughs> oh, that's it. Take Rose and run. <gasps> Dude, that's your daughter! The hell, man? What the hell's wrong with this guy? Oh! Whoa, so they can, like, just make doors as well? What do you think of Cornello now, Rose? He just opened fire. He didn't care that you were in the way. Yeah. That's because... Stop making excuses. We learned our mistake the hard way. People don't come back from the dead. Not ever. No. That's not true. I mean... Alchemy is based on the law of equivalent exchange. The price of even a failed human transmutation was enormous. Yeah. He lost his whole body. A flag. And it cost me my whole body. Do you see it? My brother drew that with his own blood. His leg had been taken. He was bleeding. I can't imagine the pain he was in. Oh. Then why has it not happened yet, lady? Huh? There you are, you infernal brat! <laughs> Look, can we just cut the crap and talk here? Because with each miracle, I can attract new believers to the order. Believers who would lay down their lives for my sake. What? Building an army, <gasps> a legion of holy warriors, unafraid to die. In a few more years, I'll be ready to unleash this mindless horde upon the world. And I'll use the Philosopher's Stone to tear this country apart. I might even carve out a slice for you. <laughs> what a weirdo. So he just wants like world domination or like country domination. You really are a novice, aren't you? <gasps> they have <laughs> He lied to you. He lied to everyone. <gasps> I see. That's why the radio was significant at the start. Verse heard every word. How could you? You'll pay dearly for this. <laughs> no way. Just face it. You're outclassed here. Damn. That took me by surprise. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh shit, he's massive. <laughs> Jesus, he's huge. Huh. Whoa. Shut up! Just give me the Philosopher's Stone! <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Oh! I... Oh, fuck, 
it broke. The stone. It's supposed to be perfect material. How did it just break like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Spare me, please. I, I was wrong, please. I Is there someone making like shit ones? I'm helpless without the stone. Spare me, please. Because that you mean we went through one from last time, the guy. It just poofed. And it's a fake. So uh what about me? <laughs> Give me the philosopher's stone. Oh. Like I was just saying, it was a fake. It wasn't real. Oh God. Shattered now. Liar! You want to keep it for yourself, don't you? So you can use it on your bodies. That's right. And so you can try to bring your mother back again. You shut up. Dude. I'm back from the dead, Rose. Not ever. Not ever. Man, that is sad. I feel for her. tell you that oh. to figure it out stand up and walk keep moving forward you've got two good legs so use them you're strong enough to make your own path wow imagine being like brainwashed into thinking that you had a chance at getting your partner back and then you find out that all that effort and work you've put in is literally for nothing because it can't happen That damn brat, it's all ruined. Everything I worked for. Yes, all that hard work for nothing. <gasps> it's the lady. Just inside of a little rebellion. You. I'm hungry, last. Can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. <laughs> Gluttony. We don't want you giving yourself indigestion. Now you two, everyone has mocked me. I won't stand. <gasps> uh, I'd say this concludes our business. What is that, Mark? Is it like blood magic or? Just as things were beginning to look promising too. Now I suppose we'll have to start over from scratch. Father won't be pleased. In any case, it's time we started thinking about our next move. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, that was, <laughs> that was an interesting one. Okay, wow. So the Okay, so somehow somehow there are these like fake philosopher's stones, which is a very interesting concept considering we're trying to find one to get their bodies back to normal, but there are fake ones. They so, so from what he said supposedly they shouldn't be just they they're not like you can't destroy them. Unless they're like f like polished fragments of the real Philosopher's Stone and not the full one. I don't know. I've got a lot of questions. I do feel bad for Rose. It was kind of, it was a bit rough, like, seeing her dad, like, try and turn her onto, um, onto the t two of them. But, you know, like, that, that felt like a very... I don't know. I felt bad for her then. But I also, you know, I really liked the bit where it turned out he was like broadcasting what he said live to the whole like city. Um, and, and I like how that tied in with the radio at the start. I thought that was really, really clever. So everyone, thank you so much for watching my reaction and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.